What's up traders, this is V Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Crown Castle International and Roblox Corporation. This was a request from one of the viewers so thank you for your donation. Remember that if you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate all those who are already subscribed and like my videos. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only and does not constitute any financial advice. We will start out the technical analysis by going over what I see on the daily chart and potential price targets. Then we'll take a quick look on the weekly chart to wrap it all up. So we're going to start out this video by taking a look um, on CCI. So for this stock, um, it was an uptrend and then it looks like there was a reversal and then a downtrend since most of the bars were above the EMA and now we're kind of below it. So that's why this is a reversal. So I'm going to show you guys right now. So it looks like there was a previous spike and then a channel up. So this is the channel right here. Let's make this one yellow. And then there was a larger channel right here. Show you guys right now. So this is the larger channel that price was inside of. So either way, the uptrend is kind of over just because we had a break outside and a new high. So this was the break outside since these prices uh, are not inside the channel and this was the previous high back in June 10th and then prices surpassed it so that's the new high and then usually when you get this it's showing signs of weakness and potential reversal and exactly that's what we got we got that um, breakdown below the EMA and then prices struggled to get above it and then finally prices just filled in this gap that he created by this wick right here on uh, the 20th 20th of August and then uh, prices started to roll over so prices even broke through this um, support level right here and then started to trend lower so this was the this is the channel that prices are currently inside of uh, in this downtrend channel let me show you guys right now so these are the lows so this is the channel that i see prices inside of and respecting let me just a little better drag it lower so it's pretty close to this uh maybe this is an overshoot uh, that's why it's not fitting correctly. Um, so e either way, we are due for a um, correction back up just because we are super extended for the EMA. Prices like to be near it. And if it gets too far away, uh, it pulls back prices. So I, I see us maybe doing a pullback in the future. Maybe something like this, a two-legged pattern. Um, maybe we won't get that retest of, the new, of that low just because it looks like we had an overshoot here. So we could pull back all the way to the breakout level right at that 190 level, uh, especially since we're kind of um, back at a previous resistance level uh, that prices broke out of. So this is the previous resistance level that prices broke outside of. So it looks like they came back. They kind of want to come back to test it right around this 170 mark. And we're almost there. So after we come here, we could get a reversal um, of big V bottom. Um, I don't know if that's going to lead to a huge correction back up, maybe to the 190 level. But I do expect some type of bounce right at this level or right now to the EMA or higher. But I'm not sure if that will um, lead to lower prices or we're probably going to continue higher. We just got to wait and see. But um, in the near term, I, especially in the next coming days or weeks, I do expect a bounce back up. Uh, maybe a huge correction back up to the mid uh, 180s or even the 90s, 190s. So that's pretty much everything I have on the daily chart. Uh, looks like there was a previous uptrend and then a break outside in a new high and then which led to a reversal after we fill in this gap uh, because since prices just rocket up from here uh, maybe they want to come all the way back down to the starting point usually that's what they want to do i don't think that's going to happen just because there's a lot of support um levels on the way so we just gotta wait and see but as of now it looks like we're probably just due for a pullback and that's what i expect to happen so let's get, go ahead and take a look at the weekly chart so on the daily chart, um, I said we're due for a pullback. So that's what I expect to happen in the next coming days and weeks. Uh, maybe we might drop just a little bit lower to the 170 level, but I do expect a bigger bounce soon. Uh, let's look, go ahead and look, take a look at the long-term pattern. So this stock has been pretty much in a huge bear market. I mean, excuse me, a bull market since pretty much uh, that 08 crash. So it's been going up ever since. So that's when you want to buy the dips where, when we're in this very strong uptrend because every dip is a buying opportunity. But as of right now, uh, we're seeing this huge correction just because we were far away from the EMA and on the top of the channel. So this, this is the channel uh, that I see prices currently inside of uh, right now. Let me go and draw this out for you guys. So it looks like it's right here. If I just drag this up. So maybe something like this. 
that's what i see prices respecting i think maybe it's a little bit um, less steep like that possibly something like this so either way um it looks like prices had this overshoot on the top of this orange channel uh see how these prices uh, these bars are outside of it and that can lead to a huge sell-off and that's what we're getting right now especially since uh, if we're at the high side of the channel prices want to come back to the lower side uh, so since we're at the high side and there was an overshoot i expect us to come to the lower side and maybe even get a break outside here um especially since it looks like we fell back inside of this range so it looks like these were the lows of the range right at this level right at that 150 level and it looks like these were the highs of the range right at that uh, about i believe it pretty much right around here maybe a little bit higher so maybe this was the highs of the range. Uh, the midline fits pretty nicely. Let me show you guys with the yellow um, color. So it looks like there was a range right here and prices broke outside of it. And now it looks like we're coming back inside of it. So that's not a good sign. Uh, we could come back inside of it and then find some resistance and then continue lower. So as of right now on the daily chart, we are due for a pullback. Um, so I expect us to see a bounce. I don't know how big that bounce is going to be, but I still expect us just because prices can't be far away from the EMA forever. Uh, we will get that pullback. Maybe we might go a little bit lower and then pull back to maybe the high one, uh, 170s, and then we'll probably see a sell-off. But this doesn't look good. Uh, we're probably going to see more selling in the future because we had this breakout side on the upper side of the channel, and we're at the upper side of the channel, and we're, now we're below the EMA, so we're probably going to start finding resistance um, by it. So I expect this stock to continue lower in the future. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stock Ro uh, RBLX for the Roblox Corporation. So I'm just going to look at the daily chart for this stock just because uh, it's a pretty recent IPO. It's only been up on the market for about a year and a half. So there's really not that much price action on the weekly chart. It's just, um, let me show you guys. It's just a little bit sideways, then up, uh, and then pretty much sideways again. So it's not really going anywhere. So let me just see where we are going to try to go in the near term on the daily chart. So on the daily chart, it looks like it's just in a really large range, uh, the whole um, chart. So it looks like these are the lows of the range. This is where prices find support. Uh, that's what the range lows are. And this is where it looks like prices are finding resistance, uh, the range highs. So right around that $100 mark, it looks like uh, we're finding resistance. And right around the $63 level, it looks like we're finding support. And the midline is acting as both support and resistance right at this 82 level. So that's like the median price. See, you can see... Um, uh, that's where the most choppiness occurs and we go sideways if we get to the lower side of the range we kind of get the bounces and if we get the up to the high side of the range we get some sell-offs i mean it's not really confirmed on the top side just because we had that one touch it might be even lower maybe something like this but uh, right now i'm gonna leave it on the top just because it fits on the midline the best so let me just drag it up so since we came up from the highs uh, i expect us to continue lower probably back even to the 64 dollar level um we just gotta wait and see uh anything can change right but as of right now it looks like we probably continue lower just because i believe this channel was in play and we haven't had a break we had that break outside since all these price bars are outside of it but we haven't had that new low yet right at that low 70 level right 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 around that 71 dollar level 70 dollar level so once we get this new low in place then i will stop saying um stop believing that we'll probably continue lower uh we just gotta wait and see but as of right now it looks like we're probably gonna continue lower especially since we came up from the higher side of the, uh, the range and it looks like this downtrend channel is not completed. So the, after this, we got this, after we got this double top, looks like this was the first leg down right here. And this potentially could be the second leg um, that's being made right now. And it looks like the target right now is that $70 level, $70 and 67 cents to be exact. Uh, there's also larger measure moves in place. So it looks like this was the first leg down right here. And if I drag it over, we get some confluence just because this measure moves right at that $69 level. And then um, prices did not meet it. It came up short and then there was a two-legged correction. So this was the first leg up right here. And then prices came back down. And if I just drag it up again, that's exactly where prices stopped at. Uh, finding resistance right at this measure move. And then we had that double top like I showed you. This was the first top and then this was the second top. So pretty much a double top, like an M formation, then price is sold off. So, and usually we get two legs down to a new low, and that's exactly what it looks like is happening. We got that first leg, and then we had the pullback, and it looks like we're in the process of making that second leg down to the new low. So it looks like we're probably going to continue lower for this stock also, um, probably to the low 70s, uh, and maybe even back down to the uh, mid 60s. We just got to wait and see. Uh, we could just come back down to stop out this person right here at the 70s and then reverse. 
but as of right now we I, I still see us continuing lower and maybe even to the $65 mark so that's pretty much everything I have for these two companies um, if the viewer has any more questions please leave it in the comment section down below and I will answer it within 24 hours so thank you for stopping by and checking out my video make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised on what you can learn leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed also share the video if we want your friends to learn about the markets lastly i appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since i want to deliver great content to you guys see you next time and bye